Welcome back to Good Days in Law. Dr. Ariel Antazana joins us today with the Multiple Sclerosis Center of Central Louisiana. Dr. Antazana, thank you so much for joining Hi. us. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you for having me here. Of course. So uh, I was not aware that we had an MS center right here in Alexandria. Tell us a little bit more about it. Yes. Um, so we um, founded or created MS Center approximately in 2014 when I came. We started as a, a partner in MS uh, Care with the National MS Society and working with the community, doctors, Cabrini Hospital, uh, our clinic, uh, Neuromedical Clinic of Senla, we became a comprehensive MS Center in, in Central Louisiana. There are three, I believe, there are two in uh, New Orleans, us and uh, Shreveport, if I'm not wrong, we have four in, in the state. Wow. So we provide, we try to provide the, the most comprehensive MS care in the community. Now, for those who may not be aware of what MS is or mm -hmm. who it can impact, tell us a little bit more about that. Yes, it's a, a neurologic condition. It's an autoimmune condition that uh, attacks or affects the uh, central nervous system. It starts in the, uh, can be the eyes, the optic nerve, the brain, the spinal cord, and it can be debilitating, it's unpredictable, uh, and requires uh, as soon as possible treatment. And that's our goal, to treat as soon as possible those patients with MS. And what y'all do at the center, and, and what are some of the ways that y'all treat patients? Well, the first thing is to diagnose early, as early as possible, and we try to do some uh, uh, MS awareness uh, educational programs and actually uh, the visit today is for that. Lacey later will speak about that. But mainly it's early diagnosis and once the diagnosis is established, sometimes it's not easy to diagnose. We need to go through several steps with MRI, spinal taps. Sometimes we need to follow up that MRI. So it's a little more complicated than just uh, one image or one symptom. Uh, once the diagnosis is established, there are several treatment options. We have so far 20 treatment options available, and we determine depending on other conditions, other uh, medical conditions, the disease stage, how severe is the condition, what's the best treatment option for that particular patient. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah. And so how many patients about do you treat at the center? We counted approximately 500 wow. so far with MS. Now those patients come and go. They you know, move to another state or another city. So we have new patients coming, some others moving, but average, I think we have 500 patients. Oh, wow, wow, that's a lot of people here in Central Louisiana who I'm sure really are thankful that there is a center now. Yes, our, our commitment was that when I came in 2014, that was my goal and the goal of the clinic to provide MS care uh, the best as, as we can. Yes, and I understand that there's an event next week. Tell us about that. Yes. Yeah, so in uh, 2020, 2019, when we got the uh, comprehensive uh, nomination, uh, the goal was to educate patients, and this program is that. We, we want to educate patients about uh, the diagnosis of MS, treatment, and also uh, wellness, pregnancy, fertility. So the program will be uh, with a lot of uh, information for patients. Uh, Lacey will speak in more details, but it will be next Friday and we will talk about diagnosis, treatment, the new treatment options, the new diagnosis uh, options, and so on. It will be for uh, approximately four hour treat, uh, uh, conference. We also invited uh, nicely Dr. Philip uh, Wolner from Agilos is coming also to talk about the option uh, treatments for, uh, uh, in terms of physical therapy, occupational therapy. So we'll have approximately 45 minutes on uh, rehab uh, experience. Fantastic. Well, we look forward to uh, learning a little bit more with Lacey after the break, but thank you so much for coming on and telling us about the center and a little bit about MS and, and spreading the awareness about it. That's important. Yes, that's the goal, and thank you for having. Of course.